Hey Pisces, welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. I shut the back it's rainy and it's chilly. So let's see what we have for Cancer or uh, Pisces. <clears throat> okay, Pisces. We have the Venom and the Mask, the Gnosis, the Heart, the Mountain, and the Lover. Oh, Pisces. Hmm. You know, obviously I think that it depends a lot on like your placements and like what you have placed where, like as to how your, any of your signs play out for you, right? Like for my Pisces risings, you know, like you might, people might experience you a type of way, but you don't, you don't see that way. You don't feel that way. You don't, you know what I mean? Um, you know, for Pisces sun, maybe that's how you perceive things, but that's not how people perceive you. You know what I mean? Like. I don't know how that all works for you as an individual, you know, like check out your chart, but the mask and the venom are very much, you know, just this idea of like protecting yourself, protecting, you know, but like almost this, like this form of protection that like, you're like, well, I'll, and again, you can be on either side of the story, take what resonates and leave the rest, but it's just kind of like this, like, well, I'll show you it has been kind of a theme in your reads for a while now. And I feel like that hasn't really been very productive for you. Um, you know, like you've, you've had to, or not even that you had to, but like you just, you just did, like you took on this like aggressive state, um, and a Pisces when they're aggressive, you know, Pisces aren't like physically aggressive. I mean, maybe some of y'all are, but I don't know. Like, I feel like usually it's more of like a, like a backdoor aggression. Um, and I feel like you have backdoor aggressively, you know, like put on this mask of like who you are and, you know, like if you mess with me, then this, or, you know, like however that plays out with, for you. Um, but I think recognizing that like when you behave that way, like your value becomes very under undermined, um, almost like it's devalued. And I want to say like recognizing like how a behavior has like devalued your, your character, um, or you could be dealing with somebody and you're recognizing like that their behaviors has devalued their character to you. Um, and either way, whichever side of the story you're on, I think the result is having to like go within and understand your value and you know, like what is it you have to offer that's positive instead of negative, right? Um, so that you can show up differently. And you know, I mean the lover and the heart, the heart, I love it. You just got like the idea of like home is where the heart is, you know, there's like a little canoe in the nest, you know, and they're they're venturing through this journey of love and and so I don't know if, you know, like in this releasing of the mask, you're able to really engage in, you know, like something that you're very passionate about, engage in a relationship that really just, you know, like resonates with you and speaks to you and, and removes this, this need that like almost like a compulsive need to like fight. You know what I mean? Um, because the reality of it is, is that if you bring value to the table, you don't feel the need to defend it, right? Like you don't see people who are doing their best and, and giving their all, um, starting arguments or like tearing other people down, right? Like the only people who tear you down are the people who feel threatened by you. Um, and I don't think you want to fuck with people who act that way any more than you want to be that person. Um, but like sometimes in order to not be that person, you have to really like go within and, and like discover, you know, like, what good am I? What good do I bring to the table? Like, how can I, how can I approach, um, life in that manner moving forward? Right. Okay. Pisces. Let's see what else we can get for y'all. <laughs> Pisces. It's appropriate that it's raining when I do the water signs. <laughs> the strength. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because I mean, I do think that like, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of effort to really have to like, 
when you're in that energy of like combativeness of, you know, like just like nastiness, like it takes a lot of effort and a lot of discipline to get out of that. But I think that you have worked to do that and are setting off, you know, like on a new, like with a, a sense of freedom. I mean, I, what I really enjoy about the full, you know, like he's got like the bare minimum of what he needs, you know, he's like, all right, I got everything that I need in order to move forward. I don't have anything more. I don't have anything less, but you know, like a, a sense of joy and peace and knowing that you have what you need in order to go. Um, you know, because you, you took the time to discover, you know, like your value and have a, a, a deeper understanding of it. You know, like Gnosis to me is like this, the idea of cyclical learning and how we go around and around and around again until we really understand it from all perspectives. It's like, you know, like when you're drawing or you're painting or something and you'll, you can turn your painting upside down or sideways and like, you'll see something that like, you could tell it was off, but like, you couldn't tell how it was off until you turned it. And then you were like, ah, that's what it is. You know what I mean? I feel like that's what you've been doing is like turning the, turning the painting and seeing, you know, turning the drawing and seeing how, like where it is that it needs to be adjusted and how you can do that. Um, and like having to really find the strength to do that, which I think is fantastic, Pisces. Okay, let's see what else we can get for y'all. Pisces. Temperance. Yeah, I mean, because to have like a, like a truly sincere, like founded sense of balance, it starts internally nobody else can do that for you. Right. And, and Pisces are so go with the flow. I mean, you know, you guys are very fluid and, and so I think that it's just like a, like a struggle sometimes that Pisces have and not all Pisces, obviously, because it depends on what other placements you have, but you know, like sometimes there's like a, a sense of feeling like your value comes from other people because, you are able to accommodate other people and that's your gift. And, and while, yes, that is your gift, that's not your, your value is not based on other people. It's based on yourself. Um, and, and you have to be the balance, you know, like be the good that you wish to see in the world ultimately. Right. But like, if you're mad and you're, you know, like coming off like sideways, you know what I mean? Then, then there, there will be, you know, a, a, a resistance that you experience. Um, and, and I think that you're aware of this resistance. And so you've taken the time to like focus, um, on restoring your own balance and, and rising up and in, into, you know, like the renewed version of yourself, which is great. <laughs> okay. Pisces. Let's see what else we can get for y'all. Justice. I just want to say like, you know, as above, so below. And when you deal with what's going on inside, things seem to just kind of work out around you. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to force things. That's not your strength. Your strength isn't to force things. You don't have an iron fist type of personality. You have a flow and, and move things type of personality. Um, and if you're trying to iron fist something and, and, like, and you're up against an iron fist, that's not going to work. Um, and so I feel like what you're discovering is that when you, when you stop trying to fight in a way that really isn't very suited to you, um, things work out in your favor, which is great. Okay. Pisces. Let's see what else we can get for y'all. One last card. We'll call it a read. A shadow. Do another one. Because... Uh, because you don't want to exist in your shadow. I mean, the, the reality of it is the, like the big T truth is, is you're not the iron fist. You don't want to be the iron fist. You, you know, like there's no, you have to have a lot of, like, you have to be steady and consistent and not to say that y'all aren't capable of being steady and consistent. It's just to say that like, you're, you're fluid and you're, you know, like, you move and you evolve and you discover and you, you know, you create, but like iron fist, 
not so much, you know, but like when you try to create that, like the reality is, is that it just comes off as very flawed, you know, like the, like the shadow side of it all is just kind of like, well, <sighs> I don't know why. Cause I hate the saying, but it's almost that idea of like, you made your bed now lay in it. Um, because, you know, personally, I think it, you made your bed okay well you don't like it burn it and make a new one <laughs> you know what I mean like I don't know you know but it's just kind of like I feel like you're you're understanding that you know like there's a lot of resistance for a lot of reasons and and um you know you really need to just release the, like an idea of needing to iron fish your way into something that you want um, and allow for it to flow because that will be where you find your justice through whatever this is that you've been dealing with. All right, Pisces. Well, I hope this resonates with y'all. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe if it does, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.